minkä päällä lakukastiken maistuu parhaalta. Ei voi tietää, ellei kokeile. Kouvolan lakritsi. Hello everybody, how are we doing tonight? We're back at the ECL Core Finals. And well, guys, it was a bit of a rough battle for Bellissimo on Monday and they have some work to do to get themselves back. Sack Brothers is coming through and they are up three to nothing. But let's take a look at the bracket and see how these teams cruise their way into the finals here. And there it is. We've got the Sack Brothers taking a sweep in the quarterfinals and they're looking to do it again here in the finals tonight. They went through the Bushwhackers in the semi finals going four to three and now they're up three nothing against Bellissimo who had a game seven battle in the quarterfinals a six game battle in the semis losing or winning against mites and now they have a battle to come back through to get themselves to hopefully a game seven to reverse sweep the sack brothers here tonight let's take a look at our team matchup and find out how these guys stack up against each other and it really has been the sack brothers putting the puck in the back of the net we saw snippy on monday score a lot of one-timer goals from yumpa who was really the goal scorer for the sack brothers to start things off here during the playoffs 51 goals against for the Sack Brothers are on the low side of things and their power play is a little bit weaker than it was to start off this series as the penalty kill of Bellissimo has been very, very good as the Sack Brothers at almost an 85% clip is pretty phenomenal stuff. The goals four are going to have to go in for Bellissimo and they're going to have to start scoring in the first period as they are only scoring at .33 goals per first period in this series so they definitely have have some work to do our lineups here this evening for the Sack Brothers and Bellissimo matchup. We've got on your left-hand side, Bellissimo. We're going to come through with Hottenin, Sucks Manny, Mr. Mickey, Heisava, Sir Samoli, and O'Day in between the pipes. And then Sack Brothers coming out once again with Yumpa at center, Snip, Snippy and Datsune on the left and right-hand side. On the back end, we're going to get Karki and Camel Guy and Super Kiro in between the pipes, who's been absolutely stunning here in this series so far. We'll take a look at our center matchups here as Hottenin and Yumpa have been battling. And you see the goals for Yumpa. He did reach over 50 in the games on Monday. And that is phenomenal in his 23 games played. But he has been dipping into the bag of apples to hit Snippy for the one-timers. Hottenin's been very good himself with 22 goals and 20 apples, collecting 42 points. But he is going to have to move that puck around over to his wingers to try and bury here tonight as they are going to need goals, 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 and hopefully starting in the first period as we take a look at our winger matchup that we have here this evening. And we've got Sucks Manny and Mr. Mikkel on the left-hand side for Bellissimo. And then on the right-hand side for the Sack Brothers, you've got Snippy, who was very, very good on Monday with that today on the right-hand side. And Snippy was able to find the open lanes, get himself set up for one-timers on that left-hand side of the ice. And it was very, very successful. Six Manny came back in game two. He ended up collecting a hat trick, almost climbing their way back, but ended up losing six to four. So we'll see if they can rely on Six Manny to come through and put the puck in the back and the net at the hand of some help of Mr. Mickle, who's got 22 goals himself, which is impressive in this series or in this playoffs so far. As we look at the defenders who are going to be shutting these guys down, we've got uh, Heisava and Sir Samoli on the left hand side for Bellissimo for Sack Brothers. We've got Karki and Camel Guy. Karki was very, very good on Monday, really not allowing players to come in on her side of the ice. And Camel Guy was a gorgeous touch to that, shutting them down hard, getting into the offensive zone in period one. And that's exactly what Sir Samoli and Heisava are going to try to help out is get those breakout passes up to their wingers and get entry into the zone. They 
struggled to do that in game one, two, and three in the first period. So they're going to look to help out on being aggressive. You see 100 hits there for Heisova and getting those breakout passes collectively forward to their wingers to try and get into the offensive zone and get something moving quickly here but they're gonna have to get it past both goalies and these goaltenders they have showed up in a big way super Kiro and ode have been fantastic super Kiro, he had less games that we talked about on monday he was only coming in with nine games played but he ended up collecting a shutout in game three to really solidify his position here in the series 84 percent save percentage with a 2.5 goals against average and it's pretty similar over on the left hand side four shutouts for O'Day. He's got a 2.68 goals against average and an 82.6 uh, save percentage, which is very, very good, especially in playoffs. We did not see much of it on Monday. He's really going to have to reach deep into his bag of tricks and shut things down as we look for these goaltenders to be the star of our games. Whether we get one here or whether we get four, we're going to be with you guys all night long, bringing you guys all the action as it sounds like our teams have matched up. And we'll get a look at our loadouts. we got some playmakers yo I, I love it they got it in english for me they know i'm by myself we've got look at all the puck moving defensemen over for the sack brothers you've got four puck moving defensemen other than the center that is a playmaker so i wonder if that's what they were running on monday it worked very very well for them uh and maybe why they were so successful uh and shutting things down in period one and guys if you guys want to sign up for a little 1v1 battle you think you know maybe the best guy in the ice is me well you can sign up on uh, uh, tomorrow and or that's when it is friday and tomorrow and friday guys so get yourself signed up and now and get entered in it's gonna be a great battle is the 1v1 always strong get yourself up there to maybe battle eki one day down the road as it sounds like we've got ourselves fired up and into this it's Bellissimo against the sack brothers we've got game four right around the corner it is a lead three to nothing here for the sack brothers are we gonna see snippy putting in big one-timers once again tonight or is sucks manny gonna show up and tee this one up we've got sack brothers in the light jerseys we've got bellissimo in the darks and it is going to be sack brothers starting off early with a quick shot hot and try to bring it out but that's an idiot Yumpa and another quick shot and remember on monday this is exactly what the sack brothers did they loved getting the quick aggression here's six manny into the middle hot and quest over to mr mickle tried to rip one looks like we're gonna get an early penalty and we are as we had a trip coming in early there and it is going to be Zack Brothers to the box first. This definitely helps Bellissimo. As Bellissimo. Not very good on the power play. Only a 10%. But they're only scoring 0.33 goals per period here in the series in the first. So maybe they can get one early and extend them. That's a great job by him playing the right D position as the right winger. As we end up seeing Camel Guy go sit for two. Here's Sir Simile. Down to Mr. Mikkel. Out front. Mikkel picks it back up. Trying to get it out front, but that's an A. Able to get that one down the ice. There's Simile. Hottenham. Up to Suxmani. Suxmani. Big chan. Big blocker. Save. It's going to be over for Mickey. Suxmani. Hockey did they scorn? Bellissimo. On the board first, on the power play. They've been lackluster in period one so far. But they're going to come in and get the first one tonight. Gorgeous play to get that puck out front and just pressure, pressure, pressure from Bellissimo. As they get that one out and beat Super Kiro early and... Go back to center ice. Here's Ottenen. Back to Isava. This is exactly what Bellissimo needed. Is Mickey. Ottenen, he fires that one wide. Mickey back with it in the corner. Mickey looks to spin. Tries to feed it out front. But Yumpa gets it out to the line. Isava has his pocket picked by Datsune. 
Over to the Oompa Oompa with Snippy fires and a good blocker save by O'Day. Not that in. Tried to move that one across. It's going to be fed back around in the neutral zone here by the Sack Brothers as they take their time and reset. Camel Guy. Pops that one back over to Datsune. Camel Guy at the line. Tried to fire that one on. Ends up going deep around and that allows Bellissimo for a two-on-one. Mickey back door to Hutton and he can't find the back of the net. Mickey back with it. He's hit hard there. Looking like an injury on the play as Camel Guy can't get it out. Mickey back with it. Trying to make a quick move to get around Karki but she's all over that in the corner. Mikkel gets around up front, they score! Sets Manny has the second one! And we're up two to nothing early! And that's more goals than Bellissimo has scored in first periods in their first three games. As we get a replay from yesterday of Karki's goal. Is that, we're just showing you what they can do, chat. Don't worry, you know, we're letting them know. Yes. We know, yes, thank you, that uh, this Sack Brothers team, they can score at will. You saw how they do it there. As this one comes through, here's Camel Guy. And Sack Brothers, not in familiar territory. First time they've trailed here in the series. There's Aisava. Up to, so there's some only. Miki. Tried to saucer that one ahead to Sucks Manny, but it is going to be the Sack Brothers who come out with the Detsune. Good little chip, trying to get it down low, but Sir Simone gets it out. He just saucers that one all the way down the ice. This could be icing, no. And Karki is going to bring it out. Karki. Into the middle offside, though, as they creep over the line. We'll go back into middle ice here where we'll get a face-off in neutral territory. That face-off is won by Mickey. Mickey tried to make a move over to the right-hand side. Great job by Camel Guy. And here's Karki. Karki ahead to Yumpa. Yumpa toe drags to the middle. Looks back for Karki, but O'Day able to get a stick on that. He shuts down the pass and breaks up the play completely. This will take a Face off back in the offensive zone, right hand side here of O'Day. That one's tied up. Heisva comes out with the win for the D and Hotton trying to saucer that one through the middle. It's going to end up being offside, but very aggressive here is Bellissimo. I love how they've come out tonight and foot on the gas. We're going to face off back in the South Brothers side of neutral ice. It sucks Manny comes in, but good stick lift there by Datsune. Better hit, though, but Datsune ends up getting that puck right back, but eventually pushed off. Here's Mickey. The sucks Manny. Back to Heisava. Over. The sucks Manny. The Summerly. Heisava tried to toe drag. Did get it in. Hatanen. Hatanen. Nice move. Walks around to check. Give and go out front, but... Pass incomplete. And with three and a half to go, Bellissimo really controlling so far. Face off one back, Karki. Over to Camel. Yumpa as they come over the line. Yumpa stops up in the hash marks. Starts to bring it in. Back door looking for Snippy for that one-timer, but a good adjustment by Bellissimo to be on top of that. Here's Detsane over the line offside as both teams having trouble with the blue line to start the game. As we've seen multiple offsides. Face off tied up. There's Yumpa. Yumpa. Detsane snippy in there. He's got all covered up. Good pick by Saxmani. He saucer passes to himself. Nice move. Saxmani comes in with the rip, but ends up had it taken away. Here's Datsune. This one's bodied off. Samoli. 
tries to move it out Tartaki's there to intercept and that will do it amazing first period here for bellissimo as like i said in the pregame they have been quiet in first periods only scoring 0.33 goals in the first three games in period one and tonight they come out with two goals in the first period where that is really where sack brothers edged them out in games one two and three we're coming out and scoring a couple of goals in the first period and having bellissimo fight back the whole time as we get a look at the shots and well it's been a quiet game on the goaltender front and Super Akira has been beat more than he stopped. Three shots for Bellissimo. They found the back of the net twice and at no fault of Super Akira as it's been passes across crease and guys finding themselves back door to tap those in. As we get a look at a couple of replays there, Yumpa's big shot that was robbed by O'Day. We'll see if Bellissimo can continue on this momentum or if we get an answer here from the Sack Brothers. Get underway in period two. Big shout out to our amazing sponsor at Kovalan Lakritzi. As M Mickey fires that one just wide as you've got Sack Brothers in white and your Bellissimo team in the dark colored jerseys, your respective lineups in the bottom left and right hand corner of your screen. Puck wrapped around. Sir Sumbali to Isava. Isava shoots that one out and gets it to Mickey. Mickey. Between the legs, nice moves. Door McCamel guy with a great interception gets his twig in front of that one. Karaki. Karaki. Oh, hit hard at the line by Mickey, and he's going to come back with it. Over to Sucks Man. He back door, but he can't connect the pass as Yumpa, the great 200 foot center all over that. That's an A. Back to Camel guy. Gina D and Karaki lets it fly, but it's blockered away by O'Day. Karaki with another one that's blocked. It's. Lissimo getting in front of the pucks from the defensive side, which was very successful for the Sack Brothers and on Monday. It's Mickey. Six Manny back to Heisava. That shot is blocked nicely. Here's Heisava back in his own zone, taking his time here as he comes out with it. Heisava drops it over to Six Manny. Into the middle, but Yumpa reads that like a kid's book, and he tries to bring it in, but he's ran over by Heisava. Hottenen with it. Hottenen trying to dance and stick handle there in a phone booth to get himself out. I guess those don't really exist much anymore. It's Hottenen. Back over to Samoli. To Hottenen. Over the line offside is trying to get in there is, is tough for Bellissimo. And it's been tough on the other side as Bellissimo's defense has been just as good as Sack Brothers here tonight. Face off tied up in the neutral zone. Gonna be winger one there by Snippy. But he gives it away to Hutton. Hutton walking in back door. Good interception by Snippy. Snippy was doing big things in the offensive zone on Monday. He's doing big things in the defensive zone for his boys tonight. And Samali. Hutton drops that one over to Mickey. To Samali, back to Mickey, give and go, but bumped off is Karaki. Karaki bringing it out now with pressure. Quickly ahead to Snippy, she joins the rush. Snippy drops it back to Yumpa, covering for Karaki at the line. Poked off, though, and a gorgeous chop. Allows Bellissimo to bring it out with no pressure. Hattanen to Saksmani. He's got with them, tried to get the pass over, but Mickey was covered. And there's a tip in front by Mickey, and we've got another goal. Bellissimo up three nil. Get a replay off that one. It sucks, man. He tried to hit Mickey, and that's who that was. Mickey smartly he takes himself right back to the front of the net, scoring area, and that almost looked like it was double tipped out front there by Hutton and Mickey. But regardless, double trip, triple, tip, triple tip, it doesn't matter. We are at three nothing here for the team that doesn't have a win in the series. Karaki, ahead to Yumpa. There's Hatan. Mickey's just gonna smartly drop this one all the way back down. And Samali, to Aisaba. Good pass to Mickey. Mickey trying to get that one through to Hatan, but read very nicely by Karaki. There's Aisaba. 
Nice him up. Poke checked off his stick. Emily. Throws it down. And this will be icing. This one's going to come all the way. We'll bring ourselves all the way back. In this 3-0 game for Bellissimo. Four minutes to go here in period two. And this is game four. As if you guys are interested in what the series is at. It does show in your top right-hand corner of your screen. And it looks like Bellissimo is going right back to the power play. Bellissimo is definitely going to love this. They are up three to nothing. Sack Brothers take a little interference call in front of the net and Bellissimo going right back to the power play and why not? Face off tied up. Winger win for Sexmani. Back to Isava. To Sexmani. Hottenen, Sexmani. Pass back to Hotton and it ended up going to Super Kero. He gives it out to Mickey. Mickey, oh, what a save! Super Kiro gets the blocker on it. Heisava, another shot on it. Super Kiro reads that easily. Here's Camel. Gardiki. Shuffled that one ahead. It's going to be bounced into Yumpa. Yumpa spins. Looking for that pass across. It's not working. And O'Day playing the puck out. The boys are playing the rock. I love it. Sucks Manny coming in. Back to Hottenen. Hottenen takes that one into the right-hand corner, being watched closely, but runs it behind to Mr. Mickey. Hottenen, oh, what a save! Super Kiro tracks Hottenen across the top of the blue paint and absolutely stones him. Maybe that'll give some oomph here to the Sack Brothers as Heiseva. Up to Samili. Mickey to Sixmani. Sixmani evades one check, tries to get it through, but Yumpa, he's there once again. Yumpa, he wants this. It's Hottenen. Picks his pocket from behind and brings it over the line. Little toe drag shot to add a little bit of power and accuracy, but Super Kiro has no problem with that, baby. And we're going into period three where Bellissimo, they have taken commanding lead here in game four where they've really been lackluster in game one, two, and three. And it's like these two teams have traded places. Great job by Bellissimo. Only letting the Sack Brothers get four shots here with half the time on attack. They have really obviously turned things around. Maybe watch some tape on Tuesday night. Tuesday night tape night for Bellissimo. Got together, watched some games and really changed how they've played here as they've been fantastic. Looking like a totally different hockey team as they've come out tonight. We have, this is the ECL core finals. As your respective lineups in the bottom left and right hand corner of your guys' screen. The Sack Brothers in white, Bellissimo in black. As we're here. And a big thank you to Kovalan Lakritzi. As a big save from Super Kiro gets the glove on it to start. We're going to go back over to the left hand side. Get an offensive zone face off here for Bellissimo. Ace off one back to Heisava. To Mickey. Oh, and he tried to hit Hutton, but it was poked wide. Mickey. Mickey. Nice toe drags. Looking for that pass, but Camel Guy read that one nicely. Hutton in with a chance now, but he can't get through on Camel Guy. There's Yumpa. Yumpa. He scores, and there it is. Back to the well goes Sack Brothers. Yumpa to Snippy and Yumpa scores or Snippy scores again and this is what we saw on Monday guys it was Yumpa finding Snippy and this is right back to the well gorgeous give and go by Snippy and Yumpa to open up that space allowing him to get the puck back and it was just barely by O'Day but regardless that's their first and we're now three to one and well if Sin was here, I'd ask him if there was a chance. And he would probably say yes, is Mickey. Drops that down low. Camels all over that one, brings it ahead, that's on a. Gets around one check, brings it in, Snippy trying to go five holes. He was trying to get two goals in succession, but 
O'Day shut the door. It's got to be. Yumpa back in front. Mickey. Up down low. Such slot hopped it in with a second chance. And puck's going to be brought out by the Sack Brothers as they evade one there. But they give it away, and that one's wrapped around, allowing Bellissimo to get it out. Is that Sunday? Ducks man, he picks his pocket. And this one's bounced over to the right-hand side. Sucks man, he good job by Karki. As it's kind of just quieted down here. But Hottenden with a great play over to Mickey. Mickey to Hottenden. Hottenden bumped off of the puck. We're going to get a delayed call. It is going to go against the Sack Brothers. And they are headed to the box once again. That is not going to help them here. They did get a goal, but... They're going to have a big kill here. We get another face off over to the right hand side of Super Kiro. And that's one back, Heisaba. The Semeli. Semeli tried to throw that one through, but. It is six Manny, Hattanen. Hattanen along the right hand side. Out front, six Manny! And he pokes that one just wide. Good kill here by the Sack Brothers. Another big shot is robbed. As I believe that got a piece of the post as Super Kiro did get a shot on it. Oh, what a save! Super Kiro in acrobatic fashion on his hump makes a big save. Here's Six Manny. Dotfinnen. Back to Samali. Mickey. As they move it around the outside. Mickey with the wraparound, but Super Kiro easily reads that one, and he's just going to swallow this one up and. Take the whistle, try to slow things down. They're back to five on five. Winger win here. That Sunday comes in and gets it back. They come in offside once again. So 8.15 to go, period three here. Face off back in neutral ice. Where the Sack Brothers, they need a couple of goals here and they need them quickly. There's that Sunday. Aisava. Back over to Semeli. Good bounce pass, but it misses the intended target. It goes all the way down the ice. No icing on the play. Six and a half to go here. As Bellissimo looking to take this to five. There's Hotfinen. He's bodied off the buck. Yumpa to Snippy. Out front. Karki who came down low. Today on front of the high slot. One timer, but it's blocked nicely by Hotfinen. Here's Camel Guy. As we reach the five minute mark left in this game. Snippy over the line. They stay on side, but they can't get it in. That's today. Back to Karki. To Yumpa. Good pass ahead as that one comes down the left. Yumpa door. What a feed! Datsane! With the intended target, it finds him and he scores no problem. Yawning Cage with a tic tac toe feed. As we'll have to get another look at that. Gorgeous passing play. As it starts off with Snippy to Karki to Yumpa and all the way over to Datsani. The only one that didn't touch the puck was Camel Guy, and that's because he was holding the camera. What a gorgeous play here by Sack Brothers. And now they are within one, 343 to go. And Sack Brothers need a goal to take this to OT. Snippy. Datsane scores! Datsane with two goals in under 30 seconds! He ties the game! Come on! What a goal! Sack Brothers come back in a big way! 
with Datsune leading the charge right from the face off. Look at our production team. Phenomenal as Datsune gets that snippy, tries to rip it, and Datsune with the backhand out front. And that is it, boys. We are tied at three with 3.13 to go. Face off tied up. Looks Mandy over the line. Great job there to get it back. That's an A. Two on one. That's an A. Looking for the hat trick. The natural. But he can't get it through. Back to the line to Yumpa. And oh, they had to make a great save. And the momentum, you can feel it here, chat. We get a face off over to the right hand side. This one's tied up. Sucks, Manny. Over to Samali. Hocked in into Mickey. Then pass to Samali. Good job by Bellissimo to try and get it in. Hocked in all alone and somebody can't pull the trigger. Goes back to Isava to sucks Manning. Mickey scores! What a goal, Bellissimo! They come back after a huge answer by the Stack Brothers and have an answer of their own. Mickey in the high slot goes five hole. And we've had goals of plenty here in period three. As you get a gorgeous look at the replay. Face off one back here is Karaki. Over the line, offside, and with 30 seconds to go, we may be going to a game five. There's Yumpa. Pushes that one across, it's bumped off. Karaki back with it. Yumpa. Oh, Zach Brothers almost had an answer of their own. Here's Camel Guy. Good job by Mickey to pick his pocket. Mickey all alone. He takes it to the corner like a team player he is. To sucks Manny. And this is going to do it. What a game by Bellissimo. What a game. Bellissimo comes through in a big way. They came out in period one like they needed to, and that is the reason why they're ahead at the end of the game. You let Sack Brothers come out and get those first two goals, this is a totally different game. And that is a 200 IQ play there by Bellissimo to just take that puck to the corner. They need to win. We get a look at some of the replays here. Datsune thought he might have solidified himself. As it is a 4-3 victory for Bellissimo. We're not going to get much look at the stats there from the Sack Brothers. They want to come back in a big way and do that quickly guys so we're gonna have a very quick break and we're gonna get right back after it so you know grab some COVID on lacquer tea get yourself some popcorn but don't go anywhere we're flying back into it in the next 30 seconds to one minute stick around minkä päällä lakukastiken maistuu parhaalta ei voi tietää ellei kokeile kouvolan lakritsi
minkä päällä lakukastike maistuu parhaalta. Ei voi tietää, ellei kokeile. Kouvolan lakritsi. Well, the ECL core finals, it wasn't gonna go away quickly, was it, guys? And Bellissimo comes through with a big 4-3 win there in game four after falling in the first three games. If they want to win, they got a reverse sweep. And if you guys want to catch some more action, join myself next week and jump in with a little bit of ECL light finals. We do the core finals this week. We pop over with a little bit of light finals next week with Hexy Esports going again against the bone breakers which should be some high quality content before we get in to the elite finals later on that week but we've got some hockey to attend to first here guys it's sack brothers it's bellissimo going head to head as we get ourselves going we have the sack brothers in the red jerseys this time with the Bellissimo in the white. Your respective lineups in the bottom left hand and right hand corner of your screen. Shout out to Fedorov and Chan. Here's Isava. Back to Semeli. Semeli looks to saucer that one all the way down the ice. It does go all the way, but Icy beaten out by Bellissimo. That was sucks Manny all over it, but Karki takes that back. That's the name. The Gamble guy. Looking for Karki, but Mickey picks that puck off. Semeli. Isava. Back to Semeli. Tamali, good pass to Hattonen in the middle. Hattonen looks to rip that one. Camel guy bodied off. Here's Yupa. And oh no, Yupa had a player on Sacro streaking out of the zone. Camel guy gets a little aggressive. Takes a body check down low. And ends up in the box. This is great for Bellissimo as they've had troubles in period ones. Not today, might I add. Is I was unfamiliar with their game this morning. I will have to apologize. Or this evening, I should say. This face off one back to Haisava. Haisava looking across with Karki. She's there to read it and gets it out. Here's Semeli. Semeli rings it all the way around to Mickey. Mickey, nice slot shot ripped and gloved down. Mickey back with it. Good poke check, but Mickey pokes it once again and Yumpa with it. Yumpa over to Karki. Karki, bodied off by Haisava. And Haisava goes back around to Semeli. To Saksmani, to Hattanen. Hattanen to Mickey. Mickey looking to take it through, but they score with Saksmani. Who gets it back on the rebound. And he puts that in, and Bellissimo, they are not stopping. As... They come down with the first goal, and we'll get a replay from our amazing production crew behind us. It's hot then to Mickey, and that one just pops loose to Sex Manny, and that's just right time, right pl plays. And that one's in the back of the net. This one thrown all the way down, and there is a penalty still going here, so. Bellissimo right back to the power play. Hottenden tried to backhand that one in, but couldn't connect. Back out front. Good save by Super Giro. As this Bellissimo team looks like a totally different hockey club than showed up on Monday. Semeli back to Haisava. Haisava tried to tip that one out front, but that's on. They tried to throw it out. Semeli holds it in. Karki gets it out, though, and does throw it all the way down. Here's Haisava. Up to Mickey. Mickey over the line. What a pass. But oh, big save. Super Giro. As this Bellissimo team looking fantastic. What a cut pass. To find Hotton and streaking through the middle. But a good kill here. By the Sack Brothers. There's Hotton. Sucks Manny. Takes this one back into his own zone. Hattanen down low to Haisava. To Saksmani. Over to Mickey. Saksmani takes it back though and just drops it back into his own zone. Why not? They have time on their side. Samali. Starting out for Bellissimo. The Haisava. Over to Mickey. Mickey drops it back to Samali. Fires. Good save. Here's Mickey. 
But Cross, oh, that went way wide. Didn't get everything on it with Semele. Now we've got Snippy up ice and now the Sack Brothers. Oh, they give it away. That's an A. One to beat. Short side shot slides through. Still there. And Heisama gets the puck back and they're going to get a power play to boot. Here's Semele. Hutton in the middle, back to Sam Lee. They get it to Mickey, and that is going to be power play Bellissimo. So to the box here. I didn't see the penalty. We'll have to get another look at it. So regardless, it is going to be the Sag Brothers headed to the box. Power play for Bellissimo. They'd love to put another one in. They go for the play through the middle, but it's shot down by Yumpa. Such many another shot. Hot did it? Oh, how did that one stay out? Unbelievable. Here's Heisema. Samali. Into the middle. Hot. Then in open. Oh, it just goes wide. As Bellissimo thought they had another. That another shot just goes wide by Samali as he didn't get everything on that one either. Here's Samalee. Sucks Manny with the rip. It's blocked over to the right by Datsani. They still can't get it out. Heisaba. Walking down the hash mark. Still holding. Drops it down deep. Triple play there as we go tic-tac-toe. But it's saved by Super Kiro. Walk into the right-hand side in the corner and battled their way through, and it is Bellissimo just controlling the play in the offensive zone in a big way. Here's Six Manny. Heisema. As they get their man back out, Karki, good job, just dumps that one out. Here's Hotton. Over to Mickey. Looking back for Hutton in, but can't connect. There's Yumpa with the puck. Over to Datsane. And they score! Sack Brothers! It is going to be Snippy! Who finds the back of the net. It's a tip out front. Not his normal one-timer as we get the replay. Is Datsane. This camel guy, and there's that play. They move the puck around the outside. Karki with the big rip from the line, and it's tipped out front. And now, it is all knotted up at one, where Bellissimo goes back to work. Hattenen. Hattenen in behind the goal. Mickey trying to work his way out, but met by Karki. Is that today? Karki back door, but Mickey's there to intercept. Karki gets it right back, though. She's bumped off of the puck by Hotten. Here's Phil Heisava. Over to Samoli. Samoli can't get into the zone. Met by Karki, who was very good on that left hand side of not letting people into the zone yesterday. The snippy. Down to Yumpa. Friend! And that's an A, and they can't get the puck through. And now we have a power play for the Sack Bros. The Bellissimo gonna have to test out their penalty kill now. Which, mind you, has been very good. But this Sack Brothers power play is nothing to mess with. So we see a tripping call go to Bellissimo. Sack Brothers to the power play. Five and a half left here in period one. They'll probably get one chance in the draw here. Face off one though by Bellissimo. So no chances as Heisava takes it to the corner smartly and gets ourselves to period two all knotted up at one. So great start by Bellissimo. They come out in a big way like they did in game four, really commanding the ice surface. They get themselves a goal to start, but it is gonna be a tip from the goal scorer, Snippy, who's been really, for lack of a better word, Snippy at putting the puck in the back of the net is here you get a look at the team that is playing for the Sack Brothers. We wanted to give you guys a look at Snippy as how good he's been. And Bellissimo with the seven shots there to two is 
uh, they've really been pouring it on and, and we love seeing that out of Bellissimo here in period one as uh, I've said it again and again they were lackluster Monday in period ones but you know they've come out and changed their game here on Wednesday night and We'll see if they can continue this trend. We are all knotted up. And one want to remind you guys that we give a big thank you to the amazing Povalon Lacritzi. If you have some, go get some. While we're enjoying the rest of this game here at Sports Gamer GG, I am It's King Lime bringing you guys the ECL Core Finals. With the Sack Brothers and Belisimo, you see your respective lineups in the bottom left and right hand corners of your screens as Sack Brothers in red, Belisimo in white. We see my best logo in ECL core as well. We have to tip our cap to them as Hottenham with a fantastic play. Is Yumpa going to try to bring it in on the power play? 51 seconds to go, but gets met by Simone, who sends it around all the way around. Hottenham, he finishes the job all the way down the ice. And here comes Karaki. On the breakout to Datsune, Yumpa, good give and go, takes the hit to make a play, Snippy walks it out, had the back door, Karki can't pull the trigger! Are they gonna get a penalty? They are, and that's probably a great penalty to take. Oh, it's going against Sack Brothers. Wow. So we get a little bit of a turn of the tape here, as it is gonna be Snippy. Headed to the box there, as that happens so often here this year. Vicky. There's some money. Mickey looking for the give and go, but it ends up going all the way down the ice, and Blissimo has to start again. Heisem over to Sex Manny. Hutton, he scores! What a goal! Hutton in short side out of nowhere! As that was built from nothing. He just comes in and almost buries that one home. Here's that thunning. As he drops that one and throws it around, is Bellissimo now up two to one here in game five. The six Manny over to Heisaba to Mickey. Down to Campbell. Throws that one ahead. Drop back to Karaki. The camel. Yumpa to Datsune. To Yumpa! He can't tip the shot away. Snippy. Throws to Karaki. The camel guy. Yumpa back here. Big save. Oday. Camel guy. Karaki back to camel. The tip shot is what they're working for. It's how they scored earlier. Yumpa with the short side shot. Gloved away by Oday. And we're seeing the pressure now. Come from the sack, bros. Camel. Karki. Snippy. Looking short side. He had no day sliding. Not able to get the puck past him. It's tied up. Mickey. The sex Manny. Family, he's bumped off the puck. Turned back around. Heisema. Toss up to Mickey. That one's turned around. Dumped out. That's an Ada Camel guy. And they just bring it out here. Sack Brothers down by one. As we reach the halfway mark. As they come through offside. And we'll get a face off back in the neutral zone. So it is two to one here. Bellissimo. Leading Sack Brothers leading the series three to one. The Sack Brothers need one win to round this out. Bellissimo needs three. Here's Heisava. Emily over to the Sucks man. He dies to again. Emily Hotton to Mickey. The Sucks man. He sucks man. He coming in is 
two on one intended target ended up falling down. Good poke check by Datsunane. Here they go. Oh, he gets rocked though. Good defense there by Bellissimo. That was a dangerous pass to Huttenen. He's got to try and get away from a few Sack brothers here. They finally do. Saxon. Good job, Camel guys. Sucks, man. He thought he was getting in. Yumpa. Camel guy walking to the middle. Look at all Bellissimo getting in the middle, trying to stop that shot coming, trying to evade and get away from the tip plays that Sack Brothers has capitalized on. Huge hit down low by Snippy. Takes it in behind the net, doubles back to Karniki. Over tip out front. They look for it again, and it's blocked. Camel shot on, tipped. It's blocked by Yumpa. And Sack Brothers really going to the well of tips on this one. Mickey in the corner. Mickey looks across. Camel guy, he reads that one no problem. Gets it to Karniki up ahead. Snippy back to Camel. That's today. That shot is blocked again. Huge blocks here from Bellissimo. They're getting in front of the rock for O'Day. Pass heads over to Suxmani. Suxmani up front as he had. Samuli, who was down deep helping out in the offensive zone. Nippy brings it in down below the goal line. He's going to ring this one all the way around. That's on it. The camel guy has to evade one check. Does nicely. Down to that's on a short side shot is saved. Yumpa. To Karaki at the line. Karaki lets it fly. And another blocker saved by O'Day. Snippy. Yumpa. He's got three Bellissimo defenders on him. He can't shoot. And Heisva takes this one back down low and... Well, Bellissimo's got 20 miles before they got six miles and they're headed into game six. If they can hold on to this lead and they've been a great hockey club here in game four and five, a totally different one than we saw on Monday. As we get a look at a slow down replay here, we'll get a few looks here. This was Hoftenin's game leading goal where he just cruised in short side and let that baby fly and no mistake by him as he sneaks that one over the shoulder of super Nikiro. and again you're seeing bellissimo control the game leading in shots leading in time on attack they are edging themselves massively in the face-off circle ahead of the other squad by almost double it's just big plays here by bellissimo all around Huck brought in as we start period three, where Bellissimo is up two to one. As here's Heisva. Mickey, oh, what a shot, and that one's robbed. Another big save, Super Kiro. He has been phenomenal, and he's going to have to be through the remainder of this game if they want to collect a W. He's going to have to give his team a chance. He makes another big stop. Oh, another one as Mickey thought he had the insurance marker. Here's Huffman. Over to Mickey. Mickey back door. Oh, camel guy. Bodied off the puck, Mickey brings it out. Another kick save. This one's wrapped around. That's on Ail Front Six Manny. Bringing it in. Oh, big stop again. Super Giro here in the third period. Showing up and showing out, giving the Sack Brothers a chance to come back and at least tie this game. Got a key into the middle of the Yumpa. He's got to battle through a bunch of white jerseys. No can do. Here's Emily. To Mickey. Mickey, his saucer pass is picked off. Yumpa. That's it. 
That's it, a secondary shot. It's robbed by O'Day. Yumpa, Karki, Camel Guy tipped in front by Datsune. And Super Kiro gave him a chance. They take advantage. And we have a die game in period three. We got to get another look at this bad boy. Is our amazing producer behind the scenes. Zero, love the guy. And he's bringing us the best replays from this side of Finland. And there's that tip. High slot. That's an a no mistake on that baby. Almost had some Kovalon Lakritzi on that one. It was so nice. Here's Heistva. Mickey, Mickey has sucks Manny. He's in behind the defenders back out high to Hatton as he decided not to let it rip. Bodied off on the left hand side is Karki. Mickey. Mickey looks up high, intercepted and taken away by Snippy. Snippy. Trying to push that one all the way down low, but it is going to be taken back by Bellissimo. Mickey over the line. That one hits a skate, pops its way back out to center ice, and Heisava just stomps up with it. Heisava, Hatton, back over to Heisava. To Semeli, to Mickey. Karki over to Camel Guy is Luisimo not able to get in. Yumpa does though. Yumpa looking for Snippy for that one timer, but Bellissimo, they're reading that like a book, and it turns into a two on one. Hutton and Mickey scores! Mickey in the high slot! Let's it fly after a pass from Hutton and. As we saw Camel Guy take a pinch from the Sack Brothers, he tried to keep it in, and Mickey just walks that one in and lets it fly. He ends up beating Super Kiro over the glove. And we got a whole new game now. As Bellissimo takes the lead once again with an answer that has been fantastic. They have been amazing at answering here tonight. And the chat's fired up. They got some Mickey fans going through as he makes another pass to Hutton. And Hutton and oh, what a save! Super Kiro after the gorgeous pass from Mickey Hutton and is robbed. Here's Karki to Camel. Yumpa. Oh, looking back for Karki is. Just Sack Brothers love those tic-tac-toe plays. Here's Mickey. Mickey met his match and Camel Guy is Camel. Gets it to Snippy and they work their way out through Karki. Karki to Camel Guy. Over to Datsane. Datsane. Ends up giving it away. Hottenen, does he have the Jets? Hottenen. Push down though to Karki. She ends up intercepting it behind the net and she's going to lead the charge. As she tried to hit Snippy, goes offside, and we'll go back to neutral ice. Here's Dead Sunday. D to D. Karkin! Another big save. Here's Mickey. Behind the net, Aisava. Assembly. Tardiki with a great interception, but Hutton takes it back. Vicky. Back to Tardiki. To Datsune. To Tardiki. Up the middle to Yumpa, but he's bumped off the puck. Great defense by Bellissimo, and now Mickey leads the charge. Mickey takes it to the corner like the brilliant smart guy he is i'm really liking this guy as he tried to backhand that one through just smart hockey here by bellissimo to try and get themselves to game six and well guess what chat they are going to we have more hockey coming for you guys we'll get our final face off here and then we'll go out and bring back game six is their last shot saved by Super Kiro. And it is Bellissimo, the best logo in the business, are looking to reverse sweep the Sack Brothers. They have half the job done. They've got two more games to do it. As they have played fantastic.
love to hear from you guys in the chat if you guys think that we're gonna see a game seven here tonight let us know as we get a couple looks at some replays here bellissimo been a amazing totally different hockey club here today than they were on monday same team different gusto as we get a look at a mickey coming in with that big rip with the go-ahead goal it is going to be a three to two game for bellissimo in the three to two series for the sack brothers as we could be Jumping into game six very, very soon. We could have seven games coming for you guys. Great job by Bellissimo. As people, uh, you know, we were listening around the rink and people thought this was going to be a short night. But I knew that with a logo like that, things were about to turn around on this Wednesday. Stick around. We'll be back for game six. Minkä päällä lakukastiken maistuu parhaalta? Ei voi tietää, ellei kokeile. Kouvolan lakritsi. Minkä päällä lakukastiken maistuu parhaalta? Ei voi tietää, ellei kokeile. Kouvolan lakritsi. Well, I didn't even have enough time to grab my Kouvolan lakritsi. We are back and ready to go. Game six, where Bellissimo is going to try and get themselves to seven. Is the reverse sweep going to happen here tonight? Well, Bellissimo has played fantastic. They have an opportunity to make it happen. If you guys want to see more great hockey, tune in next week with myself and join us for Hexa Esports in the Bone Breakers in the ECL Light Finals which is going to be just as good if not better if possible and then we're going to jump in on friday into tunnel vision versus eight threads a, a match as old as time we've seen this match time in and time out they're going to go at it again in the ecl elite finals with tugi and sin which is going to be great hockey nonetheless always produces here at sports gamer gg but we've got our ecl core finals to get to game six is underway big shout out to sports gamer gg the best hockey in all of europe kovalon lockerty of course and then the sack brothers and bellissimo this time we got bellissimo in the dark jerseys sack brothers in white and here comes mickey mickey works his way through it oh what a save super kiro gets across and we've got action already as mickey was trying to come down and put one in the back of the net again as we get a face off over to the left of super kiro after he makes a massive saves hunted it on the jumpy stores hunted it on the face-off play we see that time in and time out and that's a gorgeous little play by bellissimo that shot goes between the legs as we get a second look 
hot in and he just finds a gorgeous gorgeous We get a face-off back in neutral ice. A goal early. Two minutes in. And Bellissimo, we said they were not good in first periods on Monday. And we said that through and through. They are putting our foot in our mouth. Here's Dadson. Pushed up to Snippy. He can't get that one across, but Yumpa intercepts. Yumpa, back to Dadsene, who's covering for Camel Guy at the line. To Karnaki, tipped out front by Snippy, but he tips it wide. Here's Heisaba. The sucks, man. He hot did it now. Mickey, back to hot did it. Hot did it. Tried to drag that one through, but Dadsene with a great defensive play. Remember, he was the guy who tied the game in the last one with that tip out front. Yumpa, down to Dadsene. To Snippy behind the goal. Around the Karnaki. Karnaki. Poke check, that is going to be a call, but Yumpa, he's going to go to work and see if they need the power play. They do. And it is going to be Sack Bros going to the power play, trying to even this game up as Karnaki got her feet taken out on that left-hand board side. She draws a big penalty, so we are going to get a power play coming to Sack Brothers. Offensive face-off for them. We saw the goal come from Bellissimo off a offensive zone face-off play. This one's tied up. Datsune comes in for the winger win after his center. Yumpa lost the draw. Camel. Oh, he's picked off by Heisava. And we got a two-on-one PK. Heisava brings it out front, but Karki takes it back, and we're gone four on two. Yumpa walks it into the middle, poke checked off by Hutton in the centerman back. As Heisava was on that rush. There's Yumpa. Takarki, back to Camel Guy, long shot blocked. And remember, Sackros, they love those shots from the point with the tips. We've seen Karki let it fly multiple times and then being tipped in. Karki, over to Camel. Camel drops that one down to Snippy. Snippy bumped off. Camel down low. That's an AU ball. What a save. Oh, day. Stone cold off the five hole robbery from Yumpa. Yumpa going back to the dot here, facing off. Trying to get an offensive zone win. Three seconds left to go. Datsune tries to come in to help, but Yumpa gets it. Yumpa bumped off of the puck. Samali comes down to help out. Yumpa looking high slot, but can't find his intended target. Camel. Down to Yumpa. Back to Camel. Camel brings it to the middle and shoots. The Sakras, they love that point shot. Snippy to Datsune. Yumpa all alone, but he's stoned. Point blank. Yumpa with another chance. Robbery by O'Day. A third opportunity, and he's shut down. Yumpa back to the line. Camel over to Karki. Down low. Looking for the wraparound with Snippy. He couldn't get it. And Sam Lee's going to take it back. Quick touch pass up high, but good job on the full pressure system here. And Datsune whiffs that one wide. Puck falls all the way down to Sack Brothers territory, and it is going to be icing. And what a power play. Everything but a goal. As we get a face-off back in the offensive zone. Full pressure system. Two seconds left. Yumpa trying to get a last-second chance over to Datsane, but he can't get a shot away. Family only gets it to the line. Camel guy. Over to Karki. Karki shot on blocker. Save after a tip is Sack Brothers really going to the well for those tips. Here's Camel. To Karki. That one's moved all the way up. Snippy with a chance. Snippy trying to drag that one through Heisman. No can do. It sucks, man. He works it out. Nice little change of pace to get it up to Hutton and into Mickey. Mickey. <laughs> What a feed to Sucks Manny. He grips it and rips it and is robbed by Super Akiro. It's Bellissimo getting a little bit of offensive zone pressure themselves with 4.55 to go here. Face off. Winger win over to Sucks Manny. Sucks Manny. 
Kaisiba drops that one down though. Karki Hotenin takes it back. Hotenin, oh, what a save! Uh, tried to go 5 0 on Super Kiro, but he was already down and made a big stop. This one goes all the way down the ice for icing. We're going to come all the way back. As we go 200 feet one way, we come 200 feet back down. Offensive zone face off for Bellissimo. They win it back to Heisseva. Tipped on and Super Kiro on his behind makes a glove save and then Hotsenin comes in. He makes it two to nothing. This Bellissimo hockey club is turned into something different. Is there's the tip you see Houghton and goes back grabs that puck Is Bellissimo they are amazing Wednesday is their day Monday maybe not so much It's got to keep Dak Brothers gonna get a power play to Try and get the, an answer in this game. That one's blocked. That's today takes a second rip blocked again. And that really is the tail of the tape is the blocked shots. They have got themselves down in front of almost everything. Really putting their bodies on the line. We get a face off on the power play for Sack Brothers. One and a half minutes to go here in period one. They would love to get a late period goal here. It's Karki. Snippy. Back to the line. Campbell with a long shot. And guess what? Blocked again as Bellissimo continues to get in front of pucks for their goaltender all day. Here's Campbell. Yumpa to Karki. Karki. Drops it back to Snippy at the line, covering for her. Karki. Trying to come to the middle and get that shot away. Gets poke checked by the great defense of Bellissimo. Good poke check once again by Bellissimo. Not letting them get in on the power play. Yumpa does though. Down low to Karniki. Looking for the Yumpa, but intercepted in this amazing defense. By Bellissimo continues to be amazing. We'll get a look at some of the replays here. That was that short side shot by Hotton. And after the tip where Super Kiro made the first save, not able to get his glove in the second one. And it is 2-0 Bellissimo. They are looking to try to reverse sweep this game and get themselves into a Game 7 scenario. We get a look at... A few of the goals here. This is going to be your face-off play right back to Hatanen from Heisava. And that is how we started here. And then next one comes off a face-off as well as we get the big tip off of the glove. Hatanen goes right back to it, grabs it, shoots from just outside of that line. As Drippy, the uh, Elite Finals are going to be Friday the 23rd, my friend. You'll be able to join Tugi and Sin for those H Reds versus Tunnel Vision Finals. As we are in the ECL core finals right now. Sack Brothers versus Bellissimo. Sack Brothers and White Bellissimo and Dark. No problem, Drippy. I got you, buddy. There's Somali. Up to Karki. Karki's going to double back that one around to Dadsene. And they set up on the power play. Yumpa gets enforced by Heisva. Somali going to try and get it out. But Karki holds it in. Karki. Back down to Snippy. Goes back to Karki. The camel guy, Snippy, oh, what a save. Oh, day sliding to his left. And we got a two-on-one on, on the penalty kill. Sexpenny scores! Power kill, Bellissimo! Give him the chef's kiss as they come through with the third goal. Gorgeous pass by Mickey to Sexmanny, and he makes no mistake. We'll get a look at the replay, and... Another two on one. Sucks Manny makes them pay. And well. The series just look in the top right hand corner. You can see it is three to two Sack Brothers. We are 
up 3-0, though, Bellissimo. They're trying to reverse sweep this game as Stack Brothers was up 3-0. Bellissimo has not lost yet on this fine Wednesday. Because here's Yumpa. Yumpa. Diving his way through Hattenen. Back over to Samali. To Saksmani. To Samali over the line offside. And they don't mind that. The clock is on their side. We'll get that up to date as soon as possible for you guys. Everyone's too excited about the game at hand. Here's Aisava. Taktenen. Good job by Yumpa as he picks his pocket, but he only gets it out. But it's returned to sender there by Bellissimo. And here comes Snippy over to Yumpa. Down low, Datsun. It looks for Snippy out from a hot thin and is there to take it away. <clears throat> over to Mickey. Saksmani to Mickey. Heisava. <clears throat> Looking back at the line. Hotanen is swinging a miss. But he takes that puck right back. Hotanen. Poke checked off. Yumpa. And here's Camel guy. Darki. Back to Camel. Brought over the line. Bumped off. Here goes Camel. Poke checked away. That's an eight. Darki. That one's pushed ahead. And bodied off. We're going to get a power play. I'm not sure what I saw there. It is an interference call. It is going to go against Bellissimo. So, Sack Brothers, remember, they did come back and tie the game last game late. But they couldn't get the final score on their side. Three nothing. Almost halfway through the game. Karate holds it into the line. Mickey, what a play by him. And this one's chucked all the way down. Here's Camel. Over to Karate. Karate. Sends that down and around. Yumpa. Back to Camel. To Karate. To Camel. Camel lost control, but gets it down to Karate. But did bring it offside there. So unfortunate turn of events for Zach Brothers. There we go. Sports Gamers got her updated in the chat for us. You guys are interested on what the scores were in the games in, on Monday. Because we have reached the halfway point here in game six. Three nothing. Bellissimo looking to stretch this to seven. Here's Mickey. Mickey throws this one around. Chopped out. Great chop there by Bellissimo. And they get it all the way down. So back to five on five hockey. Got to keep the camel. Up the middle to Yumpa. Over to Datsane, but he's offside. And that's what this good defense of Lissimo has done. Ace off one. Here's Camel. Here's Six Manny. Ice of all oh, big stop. Elite final is on Friday, guys. The 23rd. You can join Tugi and Sin for that action. It's going to be a good one. Make sure you guys are here. Yumpa. Over to Datsane. Looks down low. Hot then and takes the puck back. Sucks Manny. Quickly over to Mickey. Mickey takes it in behind the goal all the way around. Doubles himself back. Looking for a lane out front. Gets met by Karki. But good puck possession by Hot then in to help out. Hot then. This sucks, Manny. Oh, he had a lane to the net. Couldn't hit the pass to Heisava. Heisava down low now is Bellissimo really controlling the back half of this second period. Hot then in. Stick handling in a phone booth. Mickey gets run over by Yumpa. And here goes Snippy. Up ahead, Datsane. Backhand shot is robbed. Kicked out nicely. Here's Hot then in with a lane. Hot then in. Mickey. Oh, he can't pull the trigger. Sucks Manny short side shot. Mickey trying to backhand. And it is all pressure by Bellissimo. Is that Sonny? Over to Snippy. He's hipped off the puck by a big check. Karki now. Up to Camel. Camel drops that one back to Karki. His sack bros take it all the way down. Reset this one. Last chance effort here in period two. They are down by three. Yumpa. 
to Datsane, to Snippy up high, down to Yupa, looking back out front, can they tuck it in? No, O'Day shuts that door on the short side with 8.7 to go in period two. Last chance effort here for Sack Bros on the offensive zone faceoff, but Hotton's been so good, he ties up and wins another one for his club. Sucks Manny down to Mickey. Mickey just fires this one all the way down, and why not? Clock is on your side, and it is a massive lead here for Bellissimo going into period three. Three nothing. As I want to know what happened to the Bellissimo of Monday. As they have fired themselves up, uh, maybe it was just, it, it had to be tape watching Tuesday. So it, it just had to be, I think, guys, as Bellissimo, nine shots for them. They've scored on three of them, which their scoring clip has been at a way higher percentage than on Monday. Faceoffs back to even here, and the time on attack is at the hand of the Sack Brother. As here's the little power kill mickey over to sucks manny and they have no problem putting that one in the back of the net and now it's just playing bellissimo defense hockey to get themselves a chance at the finals it's, they were at the bottom of the hill when we started and now they could almost reach the top period three underway three nothing here for bellissimo your respective lineups in the Bottom left and right hand corner of your screen as we have the Sack Brothers in white, Bellissimo in dark. I am It's King Lime with you guys for the ECL Sports Gamer Core Finals. With a shout out to our amazing sponsor, Kovalon Lakritzi. Here's Kardeki over for the one timer that blocked once again. And if that ends up being a win for Bellissimo in this series, you can really give it to the hand of the block shots here from this Bellissimo club as we get an offside. With 18.39 to go. Hits at the hand of Bellissimo, probably because they haven't had the puck as much, but they do have the lead, and that's all that matters. Heisava up the right hand boards. Samoli to Huttenen. Huttenen between the legs, dancing through. Such Manny back with it, but he can't get a shot away. It goes off a skate into the right hand corner. Kardeki. It's a little bit of help from Camel there, and they just slow it down back to Kardeki and work the puck out. That's an A. Drops that back to Kardeki once again. And this works perfectly for Bellissimo. They don't mind this. The clock is on their side. Yumpa has to go back to Camel. Heisva shuts it down, and this is great defense here from Bellissimo. Yumpa takes that puck back with a taste of his own good defense as he brings it over the line, but they can't get into the offensive zone. <laughs> Here's Mickey. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Kardeki, back to Datsane. Datsane, Kardeki. Datsane looking back for the Kardeki. It goes back to Camel, and they were expecting the puck in front. It's going to be another one of the intended two shooting targets taking an interference call. And that's the trouble of EA Sports having the hit button and the shoot button, the same button. As we go back to a face-off. Here's Datsane. Brings his head two on one. Snippy gives it back to Datsane. He tries to wrap around, but O'Day shuts the door. And Dak brothers just need to have some more oomph to them. Bellissimo is just looking like they want it more right now. 13.25 to go in the third period. Power play at the hands of Bellissimo. It's Camel. Back to Gutterke. Snippy, he's got a lane. Snippy, backhand blocker saved by O'Day. Here's Heisava. Eats that one up. Semele to Mickey. Mickey has Hutton and hits him, but a little too late. He tried to tuck it in, but... Hasn't been able to get it through. As McSavid says in chat, a fantastic series. As we are pushing towards game seven here in about 12 minutes, if Felicimo holds on. 
It's bumped off on the left hand side. Samali ahead to Mickey. Sucks Manny. Quick pass ahead to Hutton. Hutton and spin pass to Mickey, and he's tripped up, and that helps Belissimo now. As they are going to head to the power play with a 3 0 lead here in game six. Series is uh, three, two Sack Brothers, but Sack Brothers were up three, nothing when we started today. Luisimo is yet to lose today. Here's six Manny. Back to Isava. Isava can't get that pass through Karski. Hot then in. Six Manny, big save. Here's Mickey. Samali. Hot then in to Six Manny as they try and get over the line on the pressure. Tarki shuts that play down, dumps it back out, and says, Blissimo, you guys can try again with 50 seconds to go in the power play. Heisava starts out in the breakout. Heisava tried to go over to Suxmani on entry. They try Mickey, but that is a tough side with Karki over there. It turns around two on one, but that's it. He's dead. Tired, but it ended up working out for them as the poke check ended up being in the wrong position, and... Bellissimo is going to head to the box. As we may have a game seven incoming, a possible reverse sweep at the hands of Bellissimo if they can keep winning tonight. He's off tied up. Here's Mickey. Mickey goes to Samuli. Saw it all the way down the ice over to the right hand side. Hutton. Hutton fighting in that right hand corner. Mickey. He's bumped off of the puck. Big hit there. No call on the play. Here's Camel to Datsune. Datsune gets it to Yumpa. He has Snippy with him. Yumpa looking for Snippy, but he can't thread the needle. So Snippy goes to Karki. They play catch. Goes over to Camel Guy. Karki with the shot. Tipped by Yumpa, but saved by O'Day. Yumpa. Gets it back to the line. Karki taking her time. Camel. Datsane breaks his twig and it goes down the ice. And... You bet we may have a reverse sweep if Belissimo can keep winning. Yes, sir. If they win game six and game seven, it will be a reverse sweep, which means they won four games in a row after losing the first three. There's Karki. Looking around. Sucks man. He takes that puck back. Hot then. Over to Mickey. Mickey he loses that puck back into Bellissimo territory. Heisva gets his pocket picked, and now Yumpa comes in. Yumpa back to Camel. Karki with the rip, but it goes wide. Heisva sucks, Manny. Good touch pass, and we got an odd man rush. Hot than any spins, but Karki, great defense. And she gets it ahead to Yumpa, but Heisva takes it away and just moves that puck out. Here's Mickey. Looks across, had Hutton and all alone in front. Look at the moves by Hutton and as he takes a backhand shot and Super Kiro just plays the puck. Yumpa. To Karki. Karki. Back to Snippy. He fires one off Hutton. And Hutton in with the block again. And let me remind you, the blocks in this game have been astronomical. As these defenders from Bellissimo are getting in front of everything. If it was a bullet, they'd get in front of it at this point, you'd think. As there's Karki. Over to Camel. Up to Datsune. Into the middle. Snippy trying to hit Karki in stride, but she gets absolutely rolled. As I'm not even sure she was able to get her hands in the puck at that point before she was hip-checked hard at the line. We're going to get another look at it here right there. She must have just picked up the puck and just got railroaded. We get maybe our last face-off of game six. This one's one back, Karki. Into the middle. Sucks Manny makes a better play. And Mickey, I bet you he takes it to the corner. He doesn't. He goes to Sucks Manny. Sucks Manny tried to let it rip, but that one's robbed. Hutton in. Sucks Manny scores. He's not missing this one. Four nothing. And we are going to game seven in this series. Which nobody thought was coming when we started this. Except for maybe me. Because I told Ken and Lero this, this 
possibly it's gonna happen is it we get a big goal here from Bellissimo again and it is 4-0 boys big time plays by Bellissimo and their goaltender O'Day it sucks man he's going for one more he scores and they are putting the dagger in twisting it and pulling it out sucks Manny says hey let's make it five I want some new hats as they rain down onto the ice get another look at that one gorgeous face off play I think Sack Brothers were ready to go to seven at this point unbelievable hockey here from Bellissimo on this Wednesday night it sucks, man. He was going to try and do it again, but Karki said, listen, I've had him just about enough of you, buddy. As that will do it for game six, Bellissimo. Four nothing win. They've won three in a row, just like Zach Brothers did on one on Monday. Can Bellissimo continue their tra trail of wins? Or is it going to be the Sack Brothers who come back after losing three in a row? It's got to be tough to get your head back in the game after winning or losing three in a row. We'll get a look at a few of these replays here. After only four goals from Bellissimo, the best logo in Sports Gamer, in my opinion. As the face off, it was face off plays, it was breakaways, it was two on ones, it was shorthanded goals. That game had everything. As we, we get a quick look at stats, we're going to come back to me, guys, because guess what? We've got game seven right around the corner. Bellissimo trying to finish a reverse sweep that we haven't seen in quite some time. Is it going to be Bellissimo? Is it going to be Sack Brothers? Hold on for a couple of minutes and let's get right into game seven, chat. Minkä päällä lakukastike maistuu parhaalta? Ei voi tietää, ellei kokeile. Kouvolan lakritsi. Minkä päällä lakukastike maistuu parhaalta? Ei voi tietää, ellei kokeile. Kouvolan lakritsi. Hey 
guys we are back in action and well we've got the ecl core finals game seven bellissimo and sack brothers right now for you guys and tune in next week as you'll be able to join me for a little bit of ecl white finals as well with hexa esports against the bone breakers and then join us again on friday with Tugi and sin as we will be bringing you the elite finals with h reds and tunnel vision going head to head a match as old as time they've been around forever they've been battling forever join us and watch that bad boy on friday night but it is game seven with you guys here right now it is bellissimo it is the sack brothers bellissimo trying to reverse sweep here tonight your respective lineups in the bottom left and right hand corners of your screen we've got sack brothers in red bellissimo in white koval on lacrency thank you for providing us this amazing content and here we go hot finning here's mickey as mickey comes over the line ah mcsavin i told you i told you man i had a feeling you know sometimes these casters we just get these old, those feelings you know yes we'll get a face off here in the neutral zone that one's one back gotta keep gotta keep through the middle of the yumpa Yumpa, pocket pick by Haiseva, who's been very good tonight. Here's Mickey. Mickey, down. <laughs> down to Summerlee, as he almost had a great chance. Kardeki throwing it out front. That one's poke checked away. Mickey, back to Summerlee, who was getting into the offensive zone, getting aggressive to start off game seven. Mickey, over the line. Nice moves to Hotton in, but it's poke checked away. Uh, Snippy. Drops that one over to Camel. Kardeki. Oompa. Looking down low, but Heisleva, he's been very, very good. Takes it away, but Yumpa Snippy! They were looking for that one-timer that worked so well on Monday, but couldn't get the pass through. Gardeki on the left-hand boards. Gardeki. Taking your time down low. Left defenseman down below the goal line. Very, very good in the offensive zone, though, is Karki. There she is back at the rock. The that center. The camel guy at the line. He's got to bring it out, but still holds on to possession. Sack brothers taking their time in their own zone, led by Karki. Ahead the Yumpa. He gets through, but it's poke checked into the corner. And Samali takes it away, kicks it up the right to Saksmani. To Heisava. Heisava trying to thread that needle to Hatanen. As they've hit him a few times. Karki. Camel. Picked up Hatanen. Heisava. Good pass ahead to Mickey. Yumpa. Back over to Karaki to Yumpa. Yumpa quickly over to Datsune. Down to Yumpa. Yumpa tried to go out front, but Mickey was there. Here's Saksmani bringing it up for Bellissimo. Down to Hottenen. Hottenen brings it out of the back and tried to tuck that one short side, but Super Kiro's there. Mickey with a chance. Mickey trying to rip it, but Datsune poke checks him. Karaki moves that one up ahead snippy to yumpa at the line kicked aside after that one changed direction snippy with a chance and oh day again he's all over that and shuts the door face off over to the left hand side here of oh day after a couple of massive saves in the offensive zone here's hatanen yumpa Back to Karki. Karki shot on blocker away. Good job by Snippy to get after it. He tried to get it over to Yumpa, but sucks Manny. Ended up collecting that other pass as Heisava comes over the line offside. We're gonna reset this one. Face off in the neutral zone. That is quickly one. Over to Mickey. Mickey trying to get that one down low. It's going to be turned back around though by Sack Brother. That's it. To Karaki on that right hand side. She's all over the ice. That's it. He tries to bring it in. Took it five over. Oh, day. How does he get a stick on that? Yes. It looked like that was going to be a. A free tuck there, but O'Day gets in front of it. There's Heisava. 
As Bellissimo starts to work the puck out in the breakout after a defensive zone win. Tumbley. Tumbley saucered in front. Puck picked back off. And it bounces a couple of times. And Karki gets it out. Left hand side. Snippy trying to bring that win. Hothenen chases it back. Picks it up. Great 200 foot center he's been for Bellissimo. Down to Semeli. Back to Hottenen in the middle. Hottenen. Out. Sucks Manny. Good job by Karki to take that stick lift. Take it away and get it into the offensive zone. Yumpa with the long shot. Blocked again by Hottenen. He has had at least 20 blocks in the last four games. As Mickey gets it ahead to Sucks Manny. Back to Mickey on the give and go. Mickey trying to bring it out and do it himself. But Super Kiro. He's having a super good start to this period. As he shuts the door. Ace off one back, here's Camel. Over to Datsune. Karki. Aisaba again with a good play, but Yupa takes it back. Yupa trying to rip it. But Somali was there. And a very quiet start to game seven. After we saw quite a few goals in first periods as we started here this evening, but neither team able to find the back of the net yet. Not it. Any lack of trying, to say the least. Three to two in shots is a defensive battle. As we're not going to get too much of a look at these stats. These guys are pretty locked in and ready to go here, guys. As obviously, the reverse sweep being attempted by Bellissimo. As Bellissimo has not lost here on Wednesday. And that means Sack Brothers haven't won tonight. So we'll see if... Game 7 can be their first win, and it would be the most important one of their playoff lives here. As we get into period 2, Game 7 at Sports Gamer GG, I am It's King Lime with you guys for all of ECL Core and ECL Light Final. As you see your respective lineups in the bottom left and right hand corner of your screen and that shot looked like it had the mesh planned but it was blocked off of their own player this sucks man he comes ahead karki ends up battling with camel guy to get that puck back and they work it out karki back to camel over to yumpa Yumpa bodied off the puck. That's on a fighting for it but it pops to the line to camel poke checked off his stick and here goes mikko mickey Trying to get a pass over to Sucks Manny. He turns around in the offensive zone. Looks back door, but he can't get the pass across. It's great job by Super Kiro once again to get in front of that. As we get a face off and the left-hand side. Here's Sucks Manny. He's tripped up. Bellissimo going to go to the power play. And could this be our first goal of the game? We'll get a face off here in the offensive zone for Bellissimo on their first power play of period two. Is that one's one back down tonight? Gets it ahead. Here's Yumpa. He's almost in behind the defense. Little power kill breakaway there, but a great job by Bellissimo. This one's thrown all the way down the ice. Samily. He's going to start off with it on the breakout. Sucks Manny into the middle of the Mickey. Mickey. Long shot. Super Kiro's going to easily make that save, and he's going to hold on. We'll get another offensive zone base off for Bellissimo. They need to Get the cycle going and get it moving around the outside. See if they can get Super Kiro moving. They're going to have to start from their own end nonetheless. About 40 seconds to go in the power play as Sam Lee brings it ahead to Mickey. Mickey just runs right into the wall that is Sack Brothers. 
And they get a start from their own end once again. Isava up to Mickey. To Samily. Back to Mickey. Drops it back. Samily, long shot, kick to side. Back to five on five. They get Camel back onto the ice here. Karki, Yumpa, Yumpa across, and Haisava takes it back. And here's Semeli through the middle. Ends up being offside off a couple of skates. Not the intended target he wanted, but regardless, we're going to reset this game and take a face off back into neutral zone. 12 minutes to go here in period two. Game seven, chat. As we've got Camel Guy. Semeli. Back to Mickey. Good pass to Hutton. Finding Saxmani. Saxmani. Mickey can't get the shot off as he had three Sack Brothers all over him. Karki going to work it out for the Sack Bros. Going back to Camel. Back up to Karki on the breakout. Looking through the middle, but it's pulled back by Bellissimo. Huh? We've officially reached the halfway point. No goals to show. Camel guy for the Sack Brothers. Drops it over to Karki. Up the left-hand board, Snippy. Back to Karki. High shot, gloved nicely by O'Day with a little bit of flash under his belt as he brings it around the world. We're going to face off over to his right. Offensive zone face off for the Sack Brothers. Does that one's one back, Semele? Up to Mickey. To Hottenen. Hottenen back over to Mickey. Mickey looking for Hottenen, but the saucer pass goes all the way through to Yumpa. That's an A. Up to Snippy. Snippy looking to get a shot away. Gets blocked once again by this Bellissimo team that's just been block after block after block so far in this series. There's Isava. Over to Saxmani. Saxmani evades one check, throws it into the middle. Nobody home on his club, though, so it's allowed for the Sack Brothers to work it up the ice. Sucks Manny, intercepts on the breakout, drops it back to Heisava, all the way back, but they give it away. Break away for Snippy for the first goal of the game, but what a poke check by O'Day. Lupa, back to the line. That one's picked off, and now Mickey gets a chance. Just saucers it over for an area pass. Gorgeous for Sucks Manny, but they give it away. Yumpa to Karki. Zach Brothers coming down as we have a relentless end-to-end -end action. We're going to get another breakaway. Mickey comes in. He scores. Game seven breakaway for Mickey. As Snippy had a chance. The left winger for Sack Bros. He gets shut down. But the left winger for Bellissimo. Mickey puts it home. Get a look at the replay. And how about that saucer pass by Hotton and Jazz? As he throws that one. As he throws that backhand over. And that is a big time play by Hutton. And Mickey finds the back in the net. And Bellissimo is that much closer to the reverse sweep. As we close in to the end of period two. Shot on tipped. It's loose out front and finds its way to the corner. How did that stay out? Here's Sucks Manny. Nice little move to try and get around Camel. No can do, but Hotton's back to pick it up. Tried to back skate out. Gets bumped off of the puck. High slot shot. Robbery by Super Kiro. Hotton gets the puck back. Spins off of a check of Yumpa, but Karki shuts it down. Here's Semeli. Rings this one around behind the net. Sucks. Manny, breakaway again for Mickey. Breakaway, Mickey scores. He's got two back to back breakaways for Mickey at the end of period two. And oh no. If you are a Sack Brothers fan, you have to be shaking your head on that one, Mickey, for a second time with no time to go. Bellissimo up by two, one period to play, and they're about to take four wins in a row to reverse sweep if the Sack Brothers don't come back with a big answer. And what a turn of events for this Bellissimo club. As you come in on Monday, you are down massively. 3 nothing. 
there's money on the line and you come back out on wednesday as a whole different hockey club playing absolutely phenomenal mickey with two breakaway goals to get us ahead two to nothing and the sack brothers you saw they lead on time and attack but bellissimo has more shots nine to five and it's just really been bellissimo playing great hockey yes uh tepe it is going to be a reverse sweep sack brothers won um well not yet i shouldn't say that i don't want to jinx it for the guys but it was three nothing after the series on monday night and well 20 miles and bellissimo is gonna have six big smiles in that dressing room as we start period three sports gamer gg i'm it's king lime this is bellissimo versus stack brothers your respective lineups in the bottom left and right hand corner of your screen Sack Brothers in red, Bellissimo in white, and Bellissimo just needs a clean period. And here comes Mickey. He's got both goals. Hot did it with the backhand, and Super Kiro throws the puck out. He tries to dunk. It's still there. And Super Kiro decides to hold on as we have shades of LeBron near the crease there. And why not? Super Kiro is going to give you the chance. We'll see if Bellissimo works off a face-off play. They've done it multiple times here in the series. Here it is. Hot it in. Oh, what a save. Super Kiro, the only one to read the face-off play. He gets a pad on it. Remember that save. If Sack Brothers get one. That puck's thrown out front. O'Day with the easy grab. Fight initiated. Something we don't usually see here. Zach Brothers obviously frustrated as we saw my man Woodpusher there in chat is definitely rattled. Face off one. Back to the line. Tarki with a shot blocked again. And these blocks from this Bellissimo team has been the difference. You fuck. Poked off his stick. Here's Mickey. Hot then in. Back to Mickey. Throws it over to Sex Manny. Sucks Manny diving in. Can't get the backhand shot away, but he's got it below the crease here. Hutton he scores! Hutton makes it 3 0. What passing plays by Bellissimo! As behind the net, Sucks Manny gets it out front here. To Hutton, and Hutton's not going to make a mistake from there as he's all alone and. He buries that one home and you know you couldn't have written this one any better in the scripts as Samali sends this one out it's dropped back down is Mickey Hottenen over to Sucks Manny Sucks Manny Samali looking across and this is where Bellissimo doesn't need to get ahead of himself is Datsune through the middle, picked up by Mickey. Sucks Manny. Has Mickey up ahead of the play, decides to shuffle it around. Smart hockey here by Bellissimo. Karki with great pressure there to take that puck back. Here's Camel guy. Over to Karki. Ahead to Yumpa as they go to work. Back to Camel shot on. O'Day deep in his net, able to make a great save. As O'Day, his last two games have been phenomenal. Here for Bellissimo. This is tied up. There's Yumpa. Karki over the line brings it out offside. And you know, Bellissimo loves this because they got the clock on their side. Face off one. Mickey. Mickey to Hottenen. Hottenen, they're trying to hit that breakaway. Sucks Manny. He can't get past. Here's Dippy trying to get that through. Camel guy, long shot blocker to wait. I want to remind you guys that Sack Brothers have not scored in five and a half periods. It's got to keep. Into the middle, Hottenen. 
Hot that in, taking their time. Sucks Manny brings it over the line. Seven minutes to go. Campbell, Karki, up to Yumpa. Yumpa spins back to the line. Campbell, Karki, it's blocked. And there it is again. Another block as Sam Lee just chucks that one all the way down the ice. No icing on the play. But those blocks have been the difference. Yumpa. Back, Hottenen. That's on A up front. Hottenen takes the puck away again. Hottenen pushes it ahead to Mickey. Mickey scores! He gets his hat trick. It's 4 0. And well, guys, I think that is going to be the dagger. Bellissimo makes it 4 0. The same score the game six ended as. The reverse sweep is close. And you'd have to say it's official at this point. Here's Camel. We're going to get a delayed call in the play here. It's got to keep. Another shot on. Good save, O'Day. Another one's blocked. And it, you got it. It's got to be tough for the sack, bro. Unbelievable hockey here from Bellissimo. You don't usually see a reverse sweep. Garki, another shot on. Aisava. That one goes off of a body. Garki, a block. Guys, make sure you hang around as after we're going to have... Hutton in on from Bellissimo for an interview. So make sure you guys hang around for that action. It's Karaki. Karaki. Works this one out from Tatsane. Karaki. Looking for the Michigan. I love it. There's Yumpa over the line. Hottenen, Mickey, to Samily. Samily, oh, what a save! Super Kiro! Hottenen, another shot on Super Kiro, holds on, he's gonna play the puck. Here's Mickey. Mickey, back door, Hottenen, oh, he's robbed! Hottenen hit the Michigan. Yes, here's Yumpa. They're just going to hold on to it, I think. And that is going to do it. Big win! Bellissimo! As they come back from a 3-0 deficit. That is the wrong team. As uh, it is going to be Bellissimo, your champions of your ECL core. And there it is. Congratulations. The best logo in the core division. You give them the chef's kiss. Bellissimo comes through as champions after a reverse sweep and well deserved here tonight. Unbelievable effort by Bellissimo as Mickey comes through with a big time hat trick in game seven and Hottenen secured the deal and no wins for Sack Brothers today as they have to be going home with their heads down. And what a great, great series, guys. We're not done yet. We got an interview coming up, so hang around with me. We're going to ask some questions over to my man, Hotlinen. But let's take a look at what these guys won. We'll update you guys on our winners of the Euros. 700 Euros going over to Bellissimo, and they worked hard for that. Reverse sweep for 500 Euros. It is going to be the Sack Brothers who... 
walk away with 500 euros after getting reverse swept you know that's a nice little consolation prize uh to be able to come back and and at least you get a little bit of a little bit of money on your side so we uh we are lucky enough guys that we are going to be able to talk to the centerman on bellissimo uh hockey yeah. who was fantastic um uh, we'll be are we bringing him on video or are we yeah, I can put the video as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, throw that video on hot today. We wanna, we wanna see the big smiles after winning that, uh, winning that reverse sweep here. As we get our production team, it looks like he's got it up, and there he is, hot and in my man. Um, let's start off with the elephant in the room, my friend. Um, you guys come out on Monday, and you know, for lack of a better word, you guys were not really there it was first periods you guys had only 0.33 goals in your first periods it was very quiet you weren't able to find the back of the net as much uh before we talk about wednesday what really happened on monday oh uh, i don't know uh, it was really bad game day for us i guess so and we were not ready for the final games but uh after we got the pressure off our shoulders i think today showed us our really game i think you're right and i think the way you guys played on monday almost benefited you guys today you know you had the sack brothers coming out with a three nothing lead they were very confident against you guys that they were going to take this series today and you guys showed up and played like a totally different team talk a little bit about mick gay who was just phenomenal through those four games and especially in game seven where he came in with a hat trick yeah sure um mickey step up his game tonight uh, he was off server on Monday, but tonight he was back, and it shows on the scoreboard how he can score goals, and so on. Yeah, you're absolutely right about that, as he was awesome in offense, and so were you, Houghton, and coming through with that short side goal in Game 6, one of, uh, you know, I don't know how you scored it, and then you went and did it again in Game 7 after a tip off the glove from the other side of the ice. I've never seen anything like it, so cats off to you, my friend. You were phenomenal. You go back to the defense on your guys' team, Heiseva and Samali, who was just insane you guys had trouble getting into the offensive zone on monday and you took that and put it to yourself you stopped the sack brothers from getting in what changed from monday to today on the defensive side of things and how did you adjust your game to keep them out of your zone uh, i think we just played better blue line tonight and because the bumping is so good in this game we just mm -hmm. tried to bump more and get advance from that and yeah basically to those two things we just step up our game and yeah it, it worked very very well and then you guys look even further back and you have o'day back-to-back -back shutouts and playoffs in six and seven don't think i've ever seen that in my esports casting career uh to be able to have the calm cool composure to, ha to have a shutout and then go into game seven on a reverse sweep scenario to have another shutout how important is o'day to your guys's hockey club i think Ode is maybe one of the best goalies in core he haven't even played so long just a few seasons and he's I think he's very good goalie, and tonight he was awesome. He, he was amazing. It was fun to watch. Yeah, you know, I want to congratulate you guys. Hey, you know, you're walking away with 700 euros. You did it with a reverse sweep. But I think the most important question of all of this is where did the logo come from, and how is it so gorgeous? Can you repeat? I didn't uh, get that. Where did your guy's logo come from, and how is it so gorgeous? Uh, who, who it's the logo. Is, did, uh, it I don't. I don't know. Or? I don't know. I don't know. You don't know. Okay. I don't know. It's not my. You can ask <laughs> Nokan Kane. You can ask Nokan Kane. Okay. I'll have to get that question to him, Hotnet. Regardless, buddy, I'll give you the floor. Is there anything you want to say before we take off here tonight? No. Nothing. Nothing to say. Nothing. 
Love it, Good. dude. Well, con yeah. congratulations, man. Uh, you did phenomenal. I want to give a big congratulations to everybody on your team. Go celebrate. You guys deserved it. And I'll see you guys in the higher division next season, casting some of your guys' games. I look forward to it. I look forward to seeing that amazing logo. And good luck next season. Yeah, thank you. Good talk. Okay. Hotel sleep now. All right, buddy. Have a good night, my friend. We'll bring it back to myself. And well, guys, there it is. Bellissimo champions, and they deserved it. Hot and in sucks, Manny, Mickey, Heistava, Sir Samily, and O'Day are your ECL core champions at the hand of Bellissimo. Well, you know, we couldn't ask for anything better here tonight at Sports Gamer GG. It was a gorgeous, gorgeous set of games here as we will give you guys your upcoming broadcasts that are going to be coming up. We've got next week, which is going to be Hexa Esports against the Bone Breakers. I'll be back with you guys for some ECL light action to find out who's going to be moving up in that set. And then we're going to dive over into ECL elite action on Friday with the tail of his oldest time eight reds tunnel vision seven games for the champion in sports gamer gg ecl elite you guys can catch Tugi and sin for those games catch myself on um for the ecl light games this is it for us been a great series congratulations to bellissimo on the reverse sweep big thanks to kofalon lockerty our amazing producer behind the scenes in arrow have a great night everybody and we'll see you next week Minkä päällä lakukastiken maistuu parhaalta? Ei voi tietää, ellei kokeile. Kouvolan lakritsi.